So I feel like I haven't done a tutorial in a while, and that's because I haven't. Um, I've been a little distracted by a game that I've been rapid prototyping, which is about, it's pretty much an alpha version now, actually. It's not really a, a rapid anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm not going to show the game because I haven't announced it yet. But I am going to do a quick um, animation for something that I've been working on. It's kind of just a quick animation tutorial and a tip for using the graph editor. Most people should know this, but um, if you're starting out, this is something that you should be aware of. So what I've got here is a little power-up for, uh, for my character grab. And it's, it's kind of like one of those uh, galaxy perpetual motion machines where this rotates around and this rotates around indefinitely. Um, Hyper shades above my preview window. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make that animation for it. So um, this is for exporting into Unity. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to, to bake the animation and to, to make a, a really simple animation. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we've got um, these objects that are going to make up our perpetual motion machine. This I'm going to code in Unity, its rotation, because I want it to have a, a specific um, rotation depending on the power-up that it is. So this I'm not going to touch. This ha these two objects, however, I am going to be manipulating. So first, I believe they're all centered already, but I'm going to center pivots because they're all in the center of the map. It's, it's a really simple object. Um, I tried to keep the tries down, but in the, the center part, I wanted 10 divisions instead of 8. Um, I might actually go back later and change that. But that's not what this is about. This is about simple animation. So I want this to rotate around itself, um, and this to rotate around itself like this. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to grab them all, and I'm going to hit Freeze Transformations, which I'm assuming that you know about. Um, actually, this is more of a beginner's um, tutorial, so Freeze Transformations is right here, and what it'll do is it'll take your, um, if you have this set to something else, because I have this set to 90, um, the rotate X here, it'll take it down to zero. So now what I'm going ahead and do, I'm going to start on frame one, and I'm going to say rotate X, zero, well, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to key this. I'm going to key the rotation X and the rotation Z. And the reason that I do key selected instead of key all or just hit the S key is because it's going to reduce the amount of data that is baked onto the object. It's not going to bake the, um, the Y and the X and everything. Um, at least it shouldn't when we go ahead and export out. So now that we have this here, I'm going to go to my 30 second. I already set up the settings. Um, should have this set to one. Other 30 frames per second is what I like to use. Um, 30 frames per second for animation. That's purely it. Anyway, so frame 30, I'm going to set this to 360 so that it's going to wrap around, and then I'm going to key select it. And now, if we scrub through our bar, it's rotating 360 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing to this, except in the Z axis, I'm going to say 360. Oops. 360, and then I'm going to go ahead and key selecting, making sure that I have frame 30 selected when I do that. And now we have a perpetual motion machine. But now if I go ahead and play this, notice how it kind of slows down at the start and end? That's because it is the, uh, the tangent that we're set to on the graph editor. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab all this, and I'm going to go into Window, and I'm going to go animation editors, graph editor. I don't know why I went into general. And you'll notice, and I just selected all the things that we have keyed here, um, that these are set to automatic tangents. And you can notice that it's it swerves up and then swerves down. Um, it's set to, I believe it's called sine, the sine function. Okay, spline tangents. Um, we want linear tangents. So let's go ahead and hit that. So it's not going to look like it's gaining or losing momentum or anything. And that's how you do a, a quick tweak to your animation using the graph editor. 
that's really what I wanted to uh, to show beginners in this. Um, so we have that set up. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to export this to Unity. I'm going to select all. I'm going to delete by type history. Um, I can't combine these objects. I especially can't combine this because I want it to um, to be accessible in code separately. Go ahead and I'm going to save. Um, I don't want to do anything else because I haven't announced this game yet and I don't want to have to blur anything. Can go ahead and I'm going to go export selection. Oh, there's nothing real re revealing in here. And by the time people are watching this, it's going to be done already. It's going to be out in beta. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export the selection as an FBX. I'm going to say static power ups. That's, that's just the same as XBX. We'll do that. <laughs> First, let's select all, then let's export our selection. That would be smart. And we're going to do it as an FBX. Um, we can go ahead and we can triangulate it, that's no issue. Um, and then we want to go into animation. We're going to click on animation and we're going to bake animation 1 to 30. Um, nothing's deformed, so we don't want to do that. Bed media, shit. I do want to go ahead. And uh, in here, I want to make two different materials. Um, now, I want to name it something more specific. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we name those separately. And I'm doing this because um, they're good, this is going to have a different color than these. Um, one is going to have an animated material, one is not. Um, so I want to go ahead and I want to have that included. So now I'm going to go ahead and save, and then I'm going to export selection. I always like doing export selection. That's Don't ask me why. Um, and it kept our settings from last time. Embed media is on. That way we can make sure it has different materials. Um, then we're going to go ahead and export. No errors, no nothing. And now it's ready for to be imported into our Unity scene. This is not a tutorial on that. This is a tutorial on exporting to Unity. Um, but more importantly, that small little animation tweak. And that's all I have for you. See you next time.